Okay, for the Emotion Hybrid system, um, it is truly a complete system. And we have thought the whole system through, including the voltage that the system wants to run at. That voltage is 144 volts DC. The reason we selected that voltage is because all of the requisite parts that are running off batteries need to allow those batteries to operate in an area where uh, they won't be used too hard. Um, I say this because a good example um, of, of uh, what the system actually does is the way the inverter works. The inverters, which we get from Airpax Dimensions, are running at 94% efficiency. And actually, most of the inverters on the market run from 94 to some have even stated 96 percent efficiency. Um, but that is from the power that they're drawing, the DC input, to the AC output on the other side. What that doesn't take into consideration is the amp hours and the way the Pukert's formula works in a battery. Most batteries, if we're talking 4D, or 8D are rated at 20 amps. Um, some of the better batteries are rated at 30 amps. What that means is if they're telling you that this is a 200 amp hour battery, that if I have a steady draw of 20 amps, that I will be 50% depleted in five hours. Okay? Uh, now, some of them allow you to go to 50%, some of them allow you to go to 80%, but to really preserve their life, you never want to go to more than 50%, because the other thing that happens below 50% is they'll drop below 12 volts. And that will then have an effect on the inverter or anything else you're doing if it's suddenly at 11.9 volts. But basically, that 20 amp draw is how the amp hours are calculated. If suddenly that 20 amp draw becomes 100 amps, then Based on the Pukert's formula, I no longer have a 200 amp hour 4D battery. Because of the higher amperage, I now may have a 170 amp hour battery. Which means that if I drew that 100 amps um, out of the battery all in one whack, that I could really only run the battery pack for less than an hour. And if I divide this, I got 85 amps. So basically, um, uh, I, I would only last about three quarters of an hour. If in fact I needed to draw 300 amps, or let's say 200 amps, because that's the example that I'm going to use over here. 200 amps. Now, all of a sudden, that 170 amp hours might only be 120 amp hours. Now, I have very little time. So, what you have to do in order to really get any kind of longevity. You've got efficiency once it's inside here, but what you're doing is you're looking at a reduction in efficiency here because the Pukert's formula is going down because of your high amp loads.